Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your humble hostess, Aubrey from Evernaf Gaming, and welcome back to Subnautica. So, I have no idea where the hell I am, and I'm scared as hell. Um, so, there's going to be a lot of cuts in this video, mainly because I just don't want to take up all of your time with like, Oh, we're waiting on the sunbeam, guys. Oh, look, we're waiting on the sunbeam. It's 15 minutes now. Oh, you've been chatting for a little while. I'm doing stuff. Oh, look, it's 10 minutes left. You know, like... And no, I'm not making fun of Dahi. For the love of God, do not think I'm making fun of Dahi to know, but I love that guy. <laughs> I'm half Irish. I think my Irish accent's pretty good. Oh, God. <sighs> so this is... All primary systems online. Mm -hmm. This is our base, as it, as it stands. It's pretty tiny. We need this multi-purpose room. It says we can make it. Wait, what? What? Wait. It says we can make it, but it doesn't tell us how. Stranger. I'm gonna continue under the assumption that we didn't get the C or the Welcome aboard, Captain. Um, so we're, I'm just gonna pick up a bit more food and stuff and some water fish or some bladder fish. Bladder fish. I was getting, I was getting consumed for the water. New creature discovered. Oh, I gotta look at him. He looks at. Oh! Oh, I can't eat you. You're adorable. Look at him. Oh, he's like, don't eat me! No, don't eat me! Oh, I won't eat you. I'll keep you in my little pouch. Yeah, don't. I'm gonna put him. The second we get like a, a tank of some kind to put fish in, I'm totally putting him in there. He's he's fucking adorable. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, so hopefully, um, things are gonna start working out as far as, like, video making goes, because I know... I know it's kind of frustrating when, you know, you get used to... You get used to a routine, right? Like, you get used to making content every so often, or you get used to watching a video. It's kind of like with Space Engineers. I like Space Engineers' uh, development team, because they always strive for an every Thursday update. You know? And that's, that's something you kind of get used to, and then... Like, with me not having content for, like, what was it, two weeks? I can't remember, actually. I'd have to go look at the, uh, clothes. Ugh, hi. It, I didn't feel like it was fair to just all of a sudden start up more content and not give you guys an explanation. So that's the reason for the dedication video. Um. Ouch. I need to stop doing that. Oh, calm down. It didn't hurt that bad. You only beat the shit out of yourself with a giant submersible. I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, don't cook the hoverfish. The hoverfish is our friend. You are hideous. Sorry, sorry. What are you, anyways? Spade fish. I just don't like their mouths. Their mouths are creepy. And we need some water. We should be good. Here's the ultimate question Should I be near the sunbeam when it arrives? Because, I mean. From the from the datalogs we've gotten so far, they said it was a six-seater ship, right? Which probably doesn't matter because last I checked, the theme ship did say that everyone else was dead, so we should be fine. So what I'm gonna, I'll cut to when I get to the sunbeam. Um, hopefully. We'll just be able to do a little more exploring of that little island. I don't think that's the island with the Reaper Leviathan, rather. Because I remember Jacksepticeye, in his video, he had a base for the longest time on uh, one of the floating islands, but I can't remember if it was Mark or if it was Jack that had, this, had the uh, Reaper Leviathan and the little scythe dude. I don't know if it's the same um, island or not, but whatever. We'll figure it out in due time. <laughs> oh, you know this shit freaks me the fuck out. I do not want. <laughs> I 
This shit in particular can go fuck itself. Like, look at this. We got a little, um, no, <coughs> get this, ah, god damn it, cave crawler, I'm trying to talk here, go away, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put you, my, my logic for keeping this little guy out of the water is I have a little pocket, I have a little pocket filled with water he's just kind of sitting in, it's a very spacious pocket, don't worry, he's fine, come back in your little pocket, uh, but c come up with a name for this, he's so adorable, come up with a little name for this guy, yeah, we'll, we'll keep him as like a, a stay in the series, cause he's really adorable. And here is where, apparently, the sunbeam's gonna land here. Go! Oh. No, no eagle. Hello. It's like off engine fragment. Hey, we're already working on the... Uh... <laughs> Holy shit. I can't see a fucking thing down there. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Nope, nope. Oh, hell no. Fuck that. What the fuck? I'm sorry for swearing, but what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hell no. You creepy ass. He's fucking like floating there. He's not even moving. He's, mm -mm. That was... Oh, I need a minute. Jesus fucking... You wanna go? <gasps> Old man wants to go. Come here. Let's go. That's not a blade. That's... <laughs> He's after me! He's fucking terrifying! <clears throat> Fuck you! I will stab the shit out of you. Come here. Come here. Come. Touché. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> He's faster on land than I am. Hmm. Decent size, but salty. So I will cut to when the sunbeam has arrived. 30 seconds. No! No! Are you fucking serious? Whoa, what the fuck? That's a gun. broadcast from the no. sunbeam. I don't believe it. There's someone down there. No! Aurora, survivor. We have your PDA signature. Dude, dude get the fuck out of here. I don't know walked away from that wreck, let alone survive since then. Oh, no. We'll be happy to bring you on board and hightail back to Federation no. space. Stand back. We're approaching the landing site now. No! Breaking atmosphere in five, no. four, three. What is that? No, the red spike. Holy shit! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me?
is our only hope. Oh, now you sound the horn that you're off. Fuck you. That's terrifying. Guys, that was our only hope. We're screwed. There's gotta be another way off this planet. I'm like legit almost in tears right now. I've never been so emotional about a fucking video game. That poor... That poor captain. Dude, for real, I'm gonna have to do some hella editing to calm those fucking levels down because I was loud as shit and I apologize. Oh, no! No! <sighs> Alright. Well, we didn't get much done this episode, but that, that took so much out of me. You have no fucking idea. Um... I can't even make words in my brain to explain how screwed I feel. I feel cheated. Ah! <sighs> okay. So, before we end the episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about the roadmap. Uh, the roadmap being Kind of the developers' plans for the game, right? Like, it's like they lay it out on this website called Trello. You can go to Trello if you just Google uh, Subnautica Roadmap. It, they do have it. It's they do just they do put a disclaimer. It's not set in stone, and many people probably have already looked at it. Caution: have it. mild dehydration detected. Immediately recommended. <sighs> I apologize for your eardrums. If I was getting ad revenue at the moment, which I'm not, uh, this video would be demonetized immediately. <laughs> um, but I believe I have a plan for the next episode, so we know how to get multi-purpose habitat. That is where shit picks up for our base building. We need that habitat. Because we can put so much stuff in that habitat. So I have a plan. I'm going to drop this really expensive lithium. I know. Heresy. Um, but... I, I wasn't expecting that to be so cataclysmic. I'm kind of in a state of shock right now. <laughs> But, um, I should probably finish my original thought. Some of the stuff on the roadmap is like they want to fix the pop in, um, prison end game, the prison antechamber. And one thing really piqued my interest work on expansion. Now, as I said, this is not set in stone stuff. But work on expansion? If they make an expansion for this game, I will buy the shit out of it. This game didn't just pull my heartstrings there, it ripped them out. <sighs> so, it destroyed our ship and it destroyed that small rescue ship too. If you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more of this, for more of this just heart-wrenching adventure that is this beautiful game, Subnautica. If you didn't like it, right now I don't care.
That dislike button's there. You know what to do. I've told you a thousand times. Leave a comment telling me what I can improve on. And I have been your humble, now highly upset hostess, Aubrey from Evernet Gaming. This video goes out to the men and women who risked their lives to come save my sorry survivor's ass of the Aurora. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.